Okay, YouTube brethren, welcome back to another gold showing from the Golden Gun. Uh, and this week we've brought you more gold, that's what we like to do. Um, and the smartest amongst you have already deduced from the title and the picture and what's in front of you that this is another gold sovereign. Um, here it is, it's 1894. Um, and that's great, um, because that's in my plan. Uh, as you guys know, if you've been following me, I want to fill a tube uh, full of, uh, of gold sovereigns here. Um, and uh, and uh, I did that on purpose. That's why I bought the tube, so that I would have no choice uh, but to fill it. You can't leave a tube that's part filled. Uh, uh, a part filled tube, that's an abomination. Um, but what is starting to annoy me and getting a little bit annoying is I keep getting this Queen Victoria uh, old head or veiled head. That's what they call it here. Um, so there she is. Um, and uh, and yeah, that's the Queen Victoria old head. Uh, and you'll see from my previous two two sovereigns uh, that I've shown on the channel. This is this is my third one in filling the uh, tube. Um, that they're all Queen Victoria uh, old heads and uh, and veiled heads. Um, and I, you know, if I'm going to be collecting 20 uh, in a tube of these, uh, of these uh, sovereigns, you know, give, give me a young head of, uh, of Queen Victoria. If they come in a young head, give me, give me a shield on the, uh, on the obverse. I do love this, uh, St. George slaying the dragon, um, uh, on the obverse, but I'd love to have a shield and collectors really like the shields too. Um, give me a King Edward, give me a King George, you know, a little bit of diversity, um, but also, it's not only about, um, you know, which monarchs on the uh, back or the picture on the obverse. They also come from, uh, not just from Eng England and London. Um, they were minted, you know, with, with the English Empire being uh, quite large. Uh, we've got three in Australia, because we do a good job here. So they come from Melbourne, Perth, Sydney. Um, you also get sovereigns that are minted in India, Canada, South Africa. And they usually have lower mintages uh, than in London in those places. Um, and they'll all have usually a mint mark uh, right there in the base, just above the uh, the uh, year. But none of these have that. They're all from London. So I'm not getting the diversity through. The good news, though, is the mintage is starting to get a little bit better um, as I am st uh, stacking. So this is the 1900, the first one that I showed you. Uh, and that's got a mintage of like 10.8 million. Okay, quite a few. Even though some of them got melted down. Um, and, you know, and stuff like that, uh, you know, that's the largest mintage. Uh, the next one we've got is uh, 1899 that we showed uh, previously, uh, and that's going down from the 10.8 million, it's down to 7.5 million. And now, with this week's sovereign from 1894, uh, we're down to 3.7 million. Um, so we're definitely getting a lot lower, 10.8, 7.5, now down to 3.7. Um, it's still not special, it's not going to give me a big premium, but that's fine. It means that so far I mine all three of these uh, for a good price. Um, and it's more about, you know, gold weight uh, rather than large uh, premiums. Uh, so for an update on the, uh, on the projects, I've mentioned here that I want to get a tube uh, full with sovereigns, which means that I want uh, 20 of these. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, we've got three of them, so I guess we're 15% of the way there. Um, but we're also filling the tube uh, just with anything that fits the same capsules as these. These are 22 millimeter air tights. Um, so, you know, and, and it's, it's roughly a quarter of an ounce. I mean, these are 0.2354. So, I, you know, I'm wanting more diversity into a, and to get stuff that, that fits the, um, the 22 millimeter air tight. In the end, I want to fill that tube with all a range of stuff and then get a second uh, tube the same so that I've got one full tube of, uh, of sovereigns. Uh, and one full tube of a mix, um, both with the 22 millimeter. Um, so that's really going to get us a lot of approximately quarter ounce coins, because that really is a great size for stacking and what I want in my stack. Uh, so we can add this when we're talking about uh, uh, the tube in the beginning. Um, this is the uh, 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 10, this is a Kaiser Wilhelm II, um, and, it's a, and it's a 10 gold marks. Unfortunately, we uh, we we can't add in the uh, the uh, ten Russian rubles because that's in the slab, as I've shown you guys previously. So it's not going to fit uh, in, you know, with the uh, capsules. Um, but we're uh, look, we're twenty percent of the way there for the first goal of just filling a tube of twenty-two millimeter airtights. Uh, so just a little bit of uh, an update. 
um, and uh, yeah, showing it's uh, it's good to have your gold projects and and get a tube that needs to be filled. Um, that will uh, motivate you and keep you going because an unfilled tube, as I said, that's an abomination, um, and that'll motivate you. Uh, and there's all types of gold gold projects and different projects you can do uh, and challenges uh, for yourself. Um, so I recommend that uh, more gold from the Golden Gun. It's the eighteen ninety four. Um, uh, gold sovereign i hope you guys like that i'll bring you guys gold again soon like share and subscribe um because i told you you've got to like share and subscribe all right just uh just uh, uh you know listen to me on that it's uh, it'll be a good idea for you um thanks guys see you again soon